What's going on? Good morning from Lahore, or good afternoon. I'm uh, currently walking in the MM Alam area of Lahore. It's very busy today because it's a Friday. I'm actually walking to a coffee shop that they just opened up here. It's a Canadian coffee shop known as Tim Hortons. And I wanted to go check it out because it's crazy. I never imagined that they'd open up a Tim Hortons here. So I'm just walking there, not too far. Look guys, there's holes in the middle of the ground. So you gotta be careful when you're walking on the sidewalk. You don't want to fall in one of those. But anyways, yeah, just walking through. A lot of shops, a lot of businesses around here. A lot of madness, a lot of people. And uh, especially because it's a Friday. Usually Fridays are very busy times in uh, Muslim countries. They're the most busiest days. People are out and about. This area of Lahore is very modernized. You can tell the roads, the shops, the buildings, everything has been very updated. There's a lot of franchises here like KFC, Mata. A lot of big stores here. I just saw a Mercedes dealership before. So it's definitely some money in this area of Lahore. But this area is very, very modernized. The roads are actually cleaner here as well. People are a bit more fashionable. Looking for this Tim Hortons. Where are you, Tim Hortons? I can't find you. Now nah, I got Google Maps going, so I think I'm going the right way. Usually Google, Ma Google Maps doesn't lead you astray. Another nice thing about this area of Lahore is that there are road rules. Though people still kind of break them, one thing I've noticed is that if you want to cross the street, there are stop traffic lights and things like that. For some areas, it's almost impossible to cross the street without jaywalking completely. But here at least you can cross the street and, you know, be somewhat safe. A very interesting thing when you walk through Pakistan is that there's just like wires passing through like the middle of places, just random wires could be live wires you got to be careful though but got to duck underneath it Ugh. but yeah as you're walking along the sidewalk you'll just see wires hanging and stuff it's not very safe but and this is in Lahore so imagine in some other areas but that's one thing I noticed it kind of reminds me of the Philippines the madness of the wires I remember in Philippines there's just so many wires bunched up in one place what a quiet residential street looks like as soon as you turn off the uh, main roads uh, it's never really quiet is it but this is like more of a residential block it's nice it's peaceful there's homes different houses people who live here there's some businesses as well but definitely more quiet than that main road just wanted to show you guys there is some peace and tranquility here in Lahore as well. Look at these houses. But still, the most impressive houses that I saw in Pakistan were in Mirpur. I mean, for God's sake, some of these houses were like, looked like buildings, like huge buildings, but they were homes. Couldn't believe it. You can definitely tell people here got money though. Some of these houses are really, really nice. Old houses, but very, nice looking houses traditional houses made out of concrete then you got some big buildings in the background as well I guess those are like condo buildings interesting to see how people live and that's it guys we made it we made it to the Tim Hortons it's over there on the corner um, over here is the Hagen Daz they also have a Hagen Daz and some other places to eat and get food and stuff oh wow look at this a cool looking cool looking truck here a Land Rover Defender very cool but yeah here it is the Tim Horton coffee shop so let's go check it out go get ourselves a maybe a coffee and a pastry let's go inside Tim Hortons. oh they have donuts too there it is. Very 
very nice, beautiful. I have a place to sit up here as well. I have a place to sit up on this floor. Looks like it's packed. We'll probably sit up there. And then, I think just wait online over here. No idea, I think this is the line. It's actually nicer than the ones that are back home. Looks more clean, but like I said, it's brand new, so who knows how it'll look after a few years, but. So I'm getting a coffee now. And the good thing is here, you can pay by card. So I'm gonna use my card to pay. And they have all kinds of donuts and things. And my total is 1107 rupee, which is like, I think like five dollars something like that so it's kind of like a little bit cheaper than it would be back home for thank you thank you yeah so it was 1107 rupee which to calculate it exactly for you i was kind of rounding it up but 1107 divided by 261 that's four dollars and 24 cents guys amazing back home this would be at least six seven dollars what i'm getting so definitely cheaper here and the service was good the place is very nice the ambiance is very nice but now the most important thing how is the coffee of course you come to a coffee place the coffee has to be good so i gotta try out i got like a iced latte two shots of espresso and the chocolate chip cookie so i will let you guys know once i get the coffee how it is so here it is guys i got the tim hortons coffee tim hortons pakistan let's give it a quick taste test amazing amazing wow you can taste the bean it actually tastes a lot like tim hortons back home just uh very fresh coffee tastes good it's not overpowered by milk because this is a latte but it tastes very good and then uh, i got a cookie as well you can tell this place is very very busy because it's new it just opened so super packed everybody's here it's like a, this whole seating area here so it's super packed but coffee's very good price is not bad if you turned it into dollars it's not bad but i guess for local standard it's, it is a bit expensive i'm sure there's cheaper spots here but um you're paying for the franchise you're paying for the tag you know but coffee's really good though good size too this is a small and uh it's more than enough for me very enjoyable so there it is guys that's my pakistan tim hortons Dun Dun uh, tim hortons review i was gonna say dunkin donuts uh, that's my pakistan tim hortons review uh, very nice the coffee was great from the first sip to the last sip it tasted amazing it wasn't too sweet you could taste the bean um yeah just overall a good experience nice ambiance inside everything was good honestly i would say just I would say that if you come to Lahore and you want to get a good coffee, Tim Hortons is definitely a good place to stay, take a stop. They also have second cup coffee, which I tried in Emporium Mall. That was good too. But I would say this was better. Um, so far, I'm impressed with the coffee here because in Pakistan, it's not much of a coffee culture, but here, um, they did a great job with the coffee. So, thumbs up. Anywho, I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. Remember, continue to learn, continue to grow, and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.